A little chemical demonstration with the household items and what we're using is simply ground so the point of this little demonstration is to show that although it is flammable, the conditions under which it is burned are critical in determining how flammable it is. For example, I'll throw a pile of cinnamon on this stepping stone out here in the backyard. Now, this is a propane torch. It burns propane, C3H8, a clean burning hydrocarbon and it's adjusted to be a nice blue flame. I will attempt to ignite the cinnamon, and you can see that, number one, the flame goes out, which is <laughs> but even when it burns, it does so very little. It barely burned, and it charred. The charring, of course, is carbon. Now, that isn't very impressive, but it is necessary background for what we're now about to do. Now, we can make a flame and prove that I all along I said how flammable cinnamon is. Mm -hmm. My golly, let's see if it really is. Now watch this. We should get. See the fireball? Ah, oh wow. <laughs> pretty cool, huh? A sweet, spicy experiment. And in a lecture hall, if you do this with three or four burners raging mm -hmm. and get hands full of it, I made a fireball three or four feet high. So the point was when you increase the surface area with powdered cinnamon sprinkled and interspersed with O2 molecules from the air, it burns very, very rapidly and uh, uh, intensely to make a fireball. But on the ground with a pile, the available burning site is only on the top layer where it interfaces with the air so mm -hmm. it burns hardly at all.